So look at what just arrived, and this is a uh, very important machine in the history of uh, personal computing. This is a Xerox Alto, uh, the first machine with a GUI and the machine that inspired the Macintosh. The GUI with the mouse. Yeah, that's true. It has the mouse right there. So we hope to get it back to its former glory. So we took it uh, kind of apart already and the whole guts of the machine slides out uh, and once again uh, also this machine was never commercialized it is uh, super important in the history of personal computing because it's the machine uh, that was shown to Steve Jobs and inspired this one the Macintosh so that's really uh, considered the ancestor of uh, all the machines with a graphic user interface at the height of Apple's early success in December 1979, Jobs, then all of 24, had a privileged invitation to visit Xerox Park. And they showed me really uh, three things. But I was so blinded by the first one that I didn't even really see the other two. Uh, one of the things they showed me was object-oriented programming. They showed me that, but I didn't even see that. The other one they showed me was really a networked computer system. They had over 100 Alto computers, all networked, using email, et cetera, et cetera. I didn't even see that. I was so blinded by the first thing they showed me, which was the graphical user interface. I thought it was the best thing I had ever seen in my life. Now, remember, it was very flawed. What we saw was incomplete. They'd done a bunch of things wrong, but we didn't know that at the time. It's still, though, they had the germ of the, of the idea was there, and they'd done it very well. And within, you know, 10 minutes, it was obvious to me that all computers would work like this someday. So here are the guts of it. Four big fans. A wire wrap backplane. A uh, whole bunch of power supplies. Minus 15, plus 15, plus 12, plus 5, and minus 5. All very well engineered for a research machine. And um, it's a simple machine made out of uh, TTL, 32-bit. Uh, and uh, somewhere is the, here's the heart of it, is the uh, ALU. And uh, if I can pull it out. You will see that it's actually based on plain TTL 74H stuff, uh, very low scale integration, and um, a bit slice ALU uh, 74181, uh, so a 32-bit machine made just out of TTL parts. Uh, very much in advance of its time. Uh, design of this started in 73, I believe. This is an Alto 2, uh, slightly later, a 78 machine. And let's not forget the beautiful disk drive. This is a, a Diablo, I think. And uh, we have the platter. It's a removable platter, 2.5 meg. Over here, and with a little bit of chance, uh, we'll run the operating system from there and see the first windows uh, on a personal computer. So I can't wait that we try to restore this uh, historic uh, Xerox Alto.